Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 6-82 that is taken from chapter number 6, Bending and book name is Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is the shaft is supported by smooth thrust bearing at A and smooth journal bearing at C. If diameter is 3 inch, determine the absolute maximum bending stress in the shaft. So, you can see this is the shaft having diameter 3 inch and at point A we have smooth thrust bearing and at point C we have smooth general bearing. At B and D we have a load of 3600 pound and 1800 pound. So you have to determine the absolute bending stress in the shaft. So we know that this uh, absolute bending maximum bending stress in the shaft is equal to maximum absolute value of maximum bending moment into c which is distance from neutral axis till outermost and that is radius divided by i so we'll find this maximum bending moment by using shear force and maximum bend, maximum uh, bending moment diagram so let's start with the solution what will be the first step is that if you remove this smooth thrust bearing at point a so you will be having a reaction force which is represented as r a and if you remove this smooth general bearing at point C so you will be having a reaction force at C which is RC exerted by this bearing on the shaft so we'll find this RA and RC by using equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point C must be equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point C the first moment will be this RA into perpendicular distance is six Feet and that is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so I will write it my R A into 6 and that will be minus the second moment will be this 3600 feet pound force and three perpendicular distance is 3 feet and this is producing counterclockwise moment so it will be positive so plus 3 6 double 0 multiply by 3 and the last moment will be due to this 1800 pound and perpendicular distance is 3 feet and this is also producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 1800 multiply by 3 is equal to 0 so from here we will get 6 r a will be equal to 5400 pounds and from here you will get r a is equal to 900 pounds so you have this r a we will find this r c by using another equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so r a plus r c minus 3600 minus 1800 will be equal to zero R A minus 3600 plus R C which is 900 minus 1800 is equal to 0. So from here you will get this R uh, sorry this R C is not known. This 900 is R A. So 900 is R A and R C is not known. You can see R A is 900 minus 3600 plus R C plus 1800. So you will get this R C will be equal to 4500 pounds. Now you have this reaction force. So we'll move towards shear force and bending moment diagram. So for that I will draw the vertical line from the end of this beam. Clear. And first we will draw a horizontal line to show the length in feet. X will be in feet. On Y axis we have shear force that will be in the unit will be pound. So let each division is of uh, you can take it let for example this is 1000 pound 2000 pound similarly minus 1000 pound minus 2000 pound minus 3000 pound you can select as per your own scale so at point a we have r a which is equal to 900 so first point will be 900 so let 900 is this point this is 900 
now moving from point a till b there is no other shear force it will remain horizontal at till point b so let this is it will be horizontal line till point b which is 900 at point b we have minus 3600 so 900 minus 3600 will bring it to minus 2700 so shear force will change to minus 2700 so 2000 let's say this is minus 2700 pounds so shear force will change from 900 to two, minus 2700 now moving from point b to c there is no other shear force so it will remain horizontal clear so this minus 2700 will remain same over there now at rc we at c we have rc so minus 2700 and rc is 4500 that will give you 1800 pound force so shear force will change from this to 1800 so let this is your 1800 so shear force will change from minus 2700 to 1800 and from c to d there is no other shear force it will remain same and at the end we have minus 1800 which will bring it to zero so this will be your shear force diagram now we will find bending moment diagram so again for that i will draw a horizontal line to show the length x in feet and on y axis we will having moment that will be having newton pounds into feet let each division is 1500 clear so we will take this is 1500 pound into feet this is 3000 similarly minus 1500 minus 3000 minus 4500 and minus 6000 at point a we have shear movement is equal to zero because x is equal to zero so this is zero now the first area under the shear force diagram is is this area and this area is equal to 900 which is height and the width is three feet so 900 into 3 is 2700 so your first point is 2700 so we look at first point 2700 so this is 1500 and this is 37 uh, uh, 3000 let's say this is 2700 pounds into feet you can see the shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this area is positive so bending moment will be uh, one degree higher it will be a linear line and slope will be increasing the second area under the shear force diagram is this area and you can see this height is minus 2700 and width is three feet so it will give you minus 8100 so 2700 plus minus 8100 will give you minus 5400 at this point clear so we'll look at minus 5000 so let for example this is the point where we have minus 5400 now you can see shear force is a horizontal line with this area is negative so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be decreasing so it will be a linear line the third area under the shear force diagram is this area and this area will be equal to 1800 which is this height and this width is three feet so that will give you 5400 so at this point we have movement 5000 minus 5400 plus 5400 will be equal to zero so you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with this area positive so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope will be increasing and you will join these two point using a linear line clear so this will be your bmd which is bending moment diagram now we will use this formula that uh, maximum bending uh, stress is equal to maximum bending moment so from bmd bmd the maximum bending maximum absolute value of bending stress uh, bending moment will be equal to you can see this is minus 5400 
pounds into feet clear and uh, we will get 5400 absolute value will be positive feet so it will be maximum bending moment absolute value and if you want to convert this feet into inch so we know that one feet is equal to 12 inch clear so 5400 multiply by 12 will give you unit pounds into inch clear now we have solid diameter d is given as 3 inch so radius we have written as 1.5 inch so c is equal to 1.5 inch and we will need i second moment of inertia so second moment of inertia for circular solid circular shaft having radius c is pi by 4 c power 4 so pi by 4 into 1.5 power 4 now you have all these values so put it in this formula so you will get maximum absolute value of bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment absolute into c divided by i so maximum bending moment is 5400 multiplied by 12 and c is 1.5 divided by i is pi by 4 1.5 power 4 clear so when you calculate it you will get maximum bending moments comes out to be 24.4 into 10 raised to power 3 psi or you can see that maximum bending stress is 24.4 ksi kilo pound per square inch and which is the answer of this question and that was all about this problem 8-6-82 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching